pandemic-era border restrictions end tonight, and Republican Congressman George Santos says he won't resign after being indicted on 13 federal fraud and theft charges yesterday. Good morning, I'm Janine Herbst from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. Thousands of migrants are waiting at the U.S. southern border as the pandemic-era Title 42, which made it easier for the U.S. to expel people, expires tonight. That has local officials bracing for a rise in the number of people who want to come to the U.S., although it will be harder to claim asylum under the new policy. In Brownsville, Texas, asylum seekers who had been released from federal immigration custody got help from an organization called Team Brownsville. Andrea Rudnick is the group's co-founder. We are here to receive them, to welcome them, and we want their experience in the United States to be a good one where they feel comfortable, where they feel safe bringing their family, settling here, getting jobs, and just becoming part of this community. Meanwhile, as Title 42 ends, New York City Mayor Eric Adams is temporarily weakening the right to shelter rule that kept families with children seeking shelter out of large group settings. This after Southern governors bust migrants up to New York. New York Republican Congressman George Santos is out of jail and says he'll get back to work casting votes and running for re-election despite his indictment on 13 federal fraud and theft charges. He remains a key GOP vote in the narrowly divided House, as NPR's Brian Mann reports. George Santos faces severe travel restrictions that limit him to movement only between Washington, D.C. and New York City unless he gets government permission to go elsewhere. He also had to give up his passport while out of jail on a $500,000 bond. But Santos says he plans to keep serving his constituents and hopes to win back their trust in next year's election. He also thanked Republican leaders in Washington for sticking by him. I'm not going to address just the speaker, I'll address leadership. I appreciate everybody's patience with with my presence in Congress. But polls show Santos is deeply unpopular in his district. Many local Republicans on Long Island and in Queens say they'll oppose his re-election effort. Brian Mann, NPR News, Islip, New York. The leader of Ukraine's ground forces says his troops have pushed back Russian forces in an eastern city Russia has been fighting to occupy for nearly a year. NPR's Joanna Kikissis reports. Colonel Alexander Sirsky wrote on Telegram that Russian forces had retreated from an area in the southwest of the city of Bakhmut. The area is about three square miles. Yevgeny Prigozhin, who leads the private mercenary Wagner Group, appeared to confirm the movement. The Wagner Group has led the Russian offensive in Bakhmut, a brutal battle where both sides have faced enormous losses. Bakhmut has little strategic value, but Ukraine and Russia have both invested heavily in winning it and wearing each other down. Russia still controls most of the city. Joanna Kikissis, NPR News, Odessa. I'm Janine Herbst, NPR News.